Are you constantly getting lost? Do you think when you drive your car, oh, I know it's just around the next corner? Or maybe you're a wazer. What about when you boat? Should you have a GPS in it? Stick around to find out the pros and cons of GPS units. Hi, I'm Sean from Lens Cove Lessons in Boating. And one of the decisions when you're buying a boat, whether you're in the used market or the new, is should I buy a boat with a GPS unit in it or should I have one installed after the fact? And so on today's video, we're gonna go over the pros and cons of why you might want a GPS unit in your boat and some of the features and benefits that people don't often think about and some of the reasons that you may not want to have one on the boat. So what we see in the automotive industry is that what used to be a very expensive option with the nav units in cars on only high-end luxury is now coming into almost every car on the market. They almost all have screens or touch screens and the vast majority of them have integration with GPS or Apple CarPlay which allows you to stream what's on your phone, Waze, Google Maps or any other mapping software onto the screen. Right now on your smartphone, you can download an app called Navionics and there may be other ones as well. And with that, you can have the charts of all the waterways in North America. And it's really, really handy because you can have it at your hands. The problem is it's at your hands and it really doesn't know where you are on the lake. And what I mean by that is that when it's integrated the maps with a built-in GPS unit in a boat, you also have the data from the sonar. In the past on boats, you would maybe have a separate standalone GPS unit and a separate standalone depth sounder or fish finder, and they didn't talk. So you had mapping and you had depth and sonar data. Now the units are combined and they take the mapping that's either loaded onto them or you upload and the sonar data and overlay them so that you can see what's underneath you while you see where you are. And that's really, really handy from the perspective of keeping your operating costs low, keeping yourself more efficient because you know that you're going in the right direction and don't have to turn around and go back. And also just gives you that peace of mind that you know, there's, you know what's underneath your, the boat while you're heading to your destination. It's also kind of fun to be able to chart out places that you find that are great for swimming. Maybe you find a a little sandbar that's in a bay that you didn't know about and you can mark that on your map. Maybe you find a great fishing hole that has a really nice drop off and a good feeding bed for the fish and it was amazing so you want to mark that on the map and a built-in GPS unit on the boat will allow you to do that. And if you are a fisherman your GPS unit probably doubles as a great fish finder as well so it'll show you things that are beneficial like temperature, uh, it'll show you gradient ratings of where the topography of the bottom of the lake changes and it'll show you the actual fish so it's very beneficial. Because we think that the market is going to an eventual integration like you're used in the car and perhaps the Navionic software will mirror to the display on your boat and pair up with the sonar data if that becomes commonplace in new boats, what it's going to do is really going to make the used boat market favor units that have built-in GPS units. So you may, if you pick a boat that doesn't have it, even though you may not need one, you may find that it makes it a little bit harder in the future to sell it on the resale used boat market. Now let's talk about some cons of GPS units. One, they're not cheap. So even though the price has come down relatively, they are getting more and more powerful and as they add more content to them and better charting and better images and better sonar capabilities, the price of them goes up relative to what the less expensive one used to be. So there's a cost. Two, it disrupts the way the dash of a boat used to look. In a car, you often have the GPS or screen off to the side and you still have your traditional gauge cluster in front of you. In a boat, almost all the time, the GPS unit is right in the middle of the dash. So if you really like that sports car look of having a speedometer and tachometer and traditional gauges, 
having a GPS unit in the dash changes the way that looks. The other negative, of course, is that it could break. And if it breaks, it's something that you're gonna to need to fix. Even if you're not keeping the boat, if you sell a boat with a broken GPS unit, it will negatively impact the value. So those are the cons, the way it looks, the cost of it, and the potential that it'll break. So our advice, whether you're buying new or used, is try to put a GPS unit in it. If you're buying new, you'll find most dealerships are now stocking their boats with the GPS units, even though they are technically options. If you're buying used, it's a little tougher to find them, so you may take some more time to search out the right boat for you, or you might want to consider having it added, added by the dealership after the fact. If you want a few more tips on how to negotiate with your boat dealer, check out this video here, because you may be able to get one thrown in. Thanks for joining us on today's Lens Cove Lessons in Boating. Make sure you subscribe to get on board for more of these type of videos. If you like today's video, make sure you throttle that like button, get out on the water, have fun, and stay safe.